These games are games. juicy. I am excited. Um, let's start. We got to start with the first game, right? Let's start uh, Packers Bucks. It is Packers minus three and a half with an over under of 51 and a half. It's true. Do you think the Packers cover? Let's start I with do. that. You do. I You're going to take the Packers I, I think, minus three and a half. Yeah, I mean, I, I think the Packers are going to win the Super Bowl. I will start out by saying that. Well, that's a um, spoiler. I was going to ask you again who your Super Bowl. I was going to ask you your Super Bowl pick no, was. It's fine. We'll we'll get there. But I, I the Packers are just so good. The Aaron Rodgers has found the cheat codes. He he is the Matrix. He controls everything on the field. Uh, I mean, he was on what Good Morning Football, or I, I saw an interview with Kay Adams from Good Morning Football, and she asked him when was the last time you were flustered on the field, and he didn't know. Um, like he is just so in control. I wish he was the bear. He's likable. Um, he's sarcastic. When you when you see him bending down to take a snap with a smile on his face in the fourth quarter when the camera zoom, like, yeah, man, you Packer fans are just so damn lucky and i i will say this too that they're winning almost despite their general manager right because yeah. because of of taking jordan love and taking aj dillon instead of a wide receiver and some line like their offensive line's great their defense has actually been really sneakily good um, which is why i think they're going to win this game pretty handily is because they're going to shut down brady um and and that offense um so we like we can get down to breaking the game a little bit more, but I, I think the Packers are just going to just going to steamroll them. I, I don't see them losing. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I think I'm with you on that. I think it's it's so tough. It is so tough. Just. Does week six have any impact? On how you feel about this game? No. And what no, happened I, I in their first, the first game. time and I lost. I, I mean, I, so ga- ga- gambling and losing out the first time. So I watched every snap and they were up 10, nothing. And Aaron Rodgers threw a pick six. And then there was like a fluky interception after that. And the game was just over. Like they, their offense didn't do anything. The Bucks they, won. I think, 30 I think Rodgers had under. No, I know. Rodgers had like under 100 passing yards, I think, in that game. Um, and they just they couldn't do anything against that defense. Um, it's just a different team. I, I, they, had, they had a rough night. I don't know if they went out and were partying in Florida before the game or what was going on, but it Aaron was just, Rogers passing it was just line. over. Aaron Rodgers passing line at week six is 16 of 35 for 160. No touchdowns and two picks. Uh, it's just bad. It's not good. No, it's not great. That's their worst. It was their worst yeah. loss of the season. They got absolutely housed. Um, I think that they're a different team. I think that their defense has come a long way, especially in the last two months. Um, I do like them to win. I like them to cover. I just, I want it. I want that to be enough for me to say that the Packers, you know, are going to win this game definitively. And I, I hope it is. Um, it's just that, that 38 to 10 week six game is still burned into the back of my brain a little bit. So, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. I, yes. Tom Brady's really, I mean, what a freaking ageless wonder he is that he's still doing what he's doing. And, I'm going to continue to stick with father time. We'll catch up to him, but I, you know, playing Lambo with fans makes a difference in this yeah, game. It does. Um, you know, it, it, it makes a difference and there's just Lil something, will be there. you know, yeah. Wh- what's that? Cool. <laughs> Lil Wayne will be there. So, yeah. Um, that's, he got pardoned, didn't he? Um, I think <laughs> it, the, the, the fans, the fans being in Green Bay with just the aura that's there and Brady being in what his like 14th uh, championship game in his 20 year career, something like that, which is just asinine. Um, 
I no, I don't think any of it matters. Rodgers is just going to, he's going to find a way to win this game and he's going to cover the three and a half. I like it. Um, so the three and a half, I think I'm comfortable with taking the Packers to cover that. Um, I think that they will win the game. They're at home. They have been absolutely destroying people for the last Everyone. month, at least. Um, but just next level double double digit win after double digit win. So I'm comfortable taking the Packers minus three and a half at home. I, if anything, I feel like that's sort of a low line for me personally. I would have given them closer to five. Yeah, I thought it was going to go up. It, it it opened at four. I bet it at four and it actually went down to three and a half. Um, and so I, thought it was, I, I would have thought actually, it would go up too. I, I thought it was going to go up as well. Um, and maybe it will the day of when money comes pouring in. Um, I, I think people just can't can't justify betting against Brady. Um, but I'm not betting against Aaron Rodgers, who I think is like... I know Mahomes is really good. If I had to take one game to win with the starting quarterback ever, I'm probably taking Aaron Rodgers. I I think I agree. I, I really do. Um, all right. So then let's get into this over and under 51 and a half. Where are you at? Uh, theoretically, it's an over for me because um, I don't like betting unders. Um, I, I think both teams should be able to move the ball. Um, this is going to come down to, are they going to be able to convert touchdowns in the red zone or, or, you know, how will the defenses hold, um, for, for them to get over 51 and a half, you're looking at like a 30, like a 30, 21 doesn't get you there. Um, 30, 24 does. Uh, 31, 24 does 35, 17 does. So, you know, it's, it's possible that, you know, the Packers get up big in this game and it's just over too. Um, neither team has a great running attack. Um, I say that, but then you'll probably see Green Bay establish really long drives and work all three running backs in like they have been. And if, depending on what the weather looks like um, with the snow, then you, you could see this being under. Uh, I'm going to stay away from the total um, because I, I just don't have a good feeling on it. Um, and we'll obviously have some prop bets coming up here, but I'd, I'd rather just take the Packers to, to cover and not worry about the over under if forced to take one, I'd always lean towards the over just cause that's just kind of how I am. Yeah, I would, uh, I, I think I agree with you mostly on all fronts. Um, I would take the Packers three and a half. Um, I would generally lean the over. However, what I would say is if there is any weather, I would take the under, um, for me, I think it could be a close game. Um, I worry about, I worry yeah, the, about the high, the highest 29 and there's a 50% chance of snow. Yeah. Well, how much snow and how heavy, you know, it's green yeah, Bay. I it know. could be, it could be a mess. Um, but I do worry about green Bay's ability to run the ball. Um, Tampa Bay is only allowing 82 and a half rushing yards per game, which is first in the league and only 3.6 yards per rush attempt, which is also first in the league. Um, that's going to bring me to my first prop bet that I like. Yeah. Which is Aaron Jones. I'm going to take him under 57 and a half rushing yards, which is minus 112. So you, um, I, I I don't think he comes close to that 57 and a half. They've been working in Jamal Williams and AJ Dillon on a much more yep. regular basis now since, um, well, AJ Dillon's gotten healthy anyway. Um, you heard. Yeah, they're, they're, they're saving Aaron Jones so he can be the Cardinals running back next year. Apparently, There you go. Uh, and then I know it was week six, but their week six line, Aaron Jones. 10 rushing attempts, 15 yards. Like that's <laughs> putrid. 
So I understand it was week six, but this is the number one rush defense in the league. They are not going to be hammering Aaron Jones in this game. He, I, I think he has a better shot to have like almost 10 catches than all of these rushing attempts against the Tampa Bay. That's like, a lot. I, I know that that's a lot and it's exaggeration, but like, I just, I really think that they're <laughs> yeah, going to have to pass the ball to move it against Tampa. Um, and I, I mean, Tampa finished what? 21st in opponent pass yards per game. Like that's how you, they're first in rushing defense. They're 21st in passing defense. That's how you move the ball against Tampa. They got absolutely lit up uh, several times throughout the year because of their very, very young uh, defensive backs. And I mean, Aaron Rodgers, they were like you said, they were up 10. They just the game. I don't know what happened. Um, yeah. It should be high scoring. I think. Yeah, I, I don't know. I I think that Aaron Jones, I don't think he has a shot at the 57 and a half. Do you what do you think about that prop? Or is, it, or is that one that you had looked at? No, I don't. I don't mind that. Uh, your your support is compelling. Um, they, they've been trying to get him off more with some longer runs. Um, and, you know, some of them have been called back for, for holding. I, I think David Bakhtiari being out uh, definitely hurts that running game at least a little bit, um, especially the left side. And you do have, uh, you know, Sue on the on the interior kind of holding holding things down uh, for them a little bit too. And obviously as a history was stomping on Rogers leg a couple of years ago in the playoffs and, or whenever that was. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I, I don't mind that um, because I, I think the Packers are going to th- have to throw the ball based on what you just said. Right. Yeah. Um, because, you know, play, play to your strengths. The Packers strength is let Rogers just dissect a defense um, and so that literally plays into every single one of my prop bets, um, but I'll, I'll let you keep going. So that's my first one. Um, my second prop bet I have is Aaron Rodgers over 283 and a half passing yards. We already talked about how that's how they're going to okay. have to move the ball. So that's, okay. that does it for my Packer prop bets. Uh, do you have any other Packer ones you want to add, or do you want to get into the Bucks prop bets? I only have Packer prop bets oh. because I think that's how dominant I think that's how dominant they could be in this game. Um, so to wow. your point, I uh, I have four of my five prop bets have to do with completions. So I'm I'm not even worried about the yards because. Rodgers tends to get the ball out early and and quick um, to to his guys. So instead of taking the yardage, I'm taking completions, which is 24 and a half. Um, he he was over 24 and a half completions, seven of 17 games um, so far this year. So, um, yeah, I know that that's not a, a lot um, or or even the majority. But um, I like the over completions because to your point, I think that's how they move the ball is by short, quick passing. Because of that, I have over Robert Tanyan three and a half catches. He did that in seven of 15 regular season games. Oh, uh, I believe he had four catches last week. Okay. I have over two and a half catches for Marquez, Valdez, Scantling. Um, two and a half catches. He did that in seven of 13 games that he played in this year. And he had five catches last week, four or four or five catches. He was getting the ball on short passes last week. And I, I loved every, every single bit of it. And it wouldn't be the Packers unless you're going to bet some Devontae Adams, sweet, sweet stuff. Uh, his over under for catches is seven and a half. Uh, he did that in only six of 14 games. Um, but I'm, I'm taking the over and his receiving yardage is 87 and a half. This is the only receiving or the yardage bet that I'm betting is his over yardage 87 and a half. He did in seven of 14 games. 
um, Jeez. this year. So I am literally only betting. I bet on the Packers to win the game. I'm betting all Packers prop bets um, because I, I think that's how this game is going to play. I think if the Bucs try to do anything with their defensive backfield, it's going to tr- be to try to limit Devonte. And um, yeah, but I mean, that's what every team in the NFL tried to do. And right. And then you saw the gadget was, play that got Devonte in the end zone last week against right. the Rams. That oh, was nuts. man, that play was, I that mean, should, they were that watching That should have been illegal. That. Like that was, that was like, <laughs> that well, that's, play that's was a, disgusting. That's the exact play that Alabama ran in the college national championship game. And they literally just ripped it and put it in their playbook. Great. I mean, yeah. hats off to him. The Saints uh, ripped that uh, quarterback throw to uh, Traquan Smith down the middle of the field from the Bears, but you know the Bears didn't complete the pass. But uh, that really pissed me off because Aikman was like, "Well, we talked to Sean Payton before the game, and he said that he's up late putting in plays, and this is one of those plays that he must have been up late trying." It's like, no, you dumb ass. Did you not watch last week's tape at all? The Bears <laughs> literally ran the exact <laughs> effing play last week. And then... And like, Wims dropped it. Well, yeah, we're not going to talk about that. And then, like, so what that play, famous Jameis, he was eating the eating the W. The, yeah, there you go. Uh, and And so, all of a sudden, they do like a... It's like the fourth quarter and they're like flashback. Well, we see Sean. It looks like the bears ran the same exact play last. It's like, no kidding. Uh, You know, it's just like, come on guys do better. Uh, uh, Out of all the prop bets that you listed, I think my favorite is the, and this is probably going to hurt to say my favorite is to take Marquez Stonehands Valdez Scantling over Two and a half. Two and a half. He had eight targets last week. Eight. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a no, no brainer. And and last week the the two and a half catches for him, it was like I think I got it like plus like one eighty odds or something like that. And it cashed in like the beginning of the second quarter. It was like, yeah. I will so, take it. Yeah. So over two and a half catches. Um, just go ahead and put that one in pen. Um all right, fine. Well, then I'll change. I'll change my last prop. It it was going to be something else, but we'll do an honorable mention prop bet for the Bucks. Okay. Uh, Tom Brady. How do you feel about two hundred and eighty five and a half passing yards for Tom Brady? Um, it might be about right. It. I mean. It's- do we know if Antonio Brown is playing? Um, I, I he know said that he's he can... good to 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 Tom at the end of that game. Okay, is is Scotty Miller um, needed for him to get to hit that over? I mean, Jair's going to be matched up on Mike Evans, and his like the Packers' defense is good, man. Yeah, they, they do not give up a lot. Um, so for that reason, I would take the under. Um, the, the way to the way to the way to theoretically beat the Packers is to do it on the ground. If that's the way that they're going to try to exploit them, then you would say, "Hey, over rushing yards, under passing yards." So that's why I would say uh, under on the on the. You said two eighty seven, two eighty five and a half. Yeah, under. I kind of feel you on the under. I think it might depend on if AB plays. Um, Roto is reporting that it's rumored to be a not serious injury, although he has not practiced. But I mean, I don't know. Arian said he's going to be a game time decision. So I would venture to guess that he will play because it is the playoffs and he's trying to get that bag based on uh, how we could potentially do this playoff season. So Brown paper bag. there it is. Um, he only threw for 17. He only completed 17 of 27 passes for 166 yards and two scores in week six. So he did not have to pass in their previous meeting. Uh, that, I mean, Ronald Jones went off for more than 100 yards and two scores on the ground in that game, though. Uh, obviously, still dealing with an injury. Fournette, yep. Lenny's looked good, though. Playoff um, Lenny. How do you feel about Ronald Jones, Lenny? in this game 
when I tell you that in the last three Packers games, in the last three weeks, the Packers are second in opponent passing yards per game at 167. Did I say I will like the under on Tom Brady? <laughs> Granted, those last three games are Tennessee, Chicago, and the Rams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but still, whoa. one. Hold on, you're not allowed to disrespect Ryan Tannehill like that. That's your guy. Yeah, that's um, but guy. yeah, B- biscuit and no thumb golf. Yeah, that's not surprising. No, but two good teams. I think I will take the under for Tom Brady. Uh, my only concern is he gets there in garbage time in the fourth quarter. Like, yeah, I'm not worried about that. But all right, I think that does it for this game. Is there anything else I missed? I don't think so. I mean, if you're watching this on YouTube, tell us uh, down in the comments what you're what you're feeling. Um, contact us on social media. You can follow us everywhere. Uh, the FF Sackos. Um, you can find us at the fantasy football sackos dot com. Um, Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, wherever. Tell us what you like. Um, tell us what we're wrong or bet it. Play with us. Win money. It'll there be you great. Go. 